Okay, so I decided um, I'm gonna try to do another little quick demo on this front that I'm currently repairing. So again, this is another one of my like bizarre projects that's probably not being done totally correct, but this is a wig uh, where the front was actually like ripped off of it for a short film. So I've just been kind of like trying to like repair um, the little bit that's left I've added in so far. We got like this whole chunk that I've added in, um, but I thought it might be easier just because this is just on wig block with no like shiny tape or anything. Um, and with like the current lighting situation and everything that I have, um, it might be a little bit easier to demo on here. Um, so hopefully between the two of them, one of these will make sense. Um, so this is a front that I'm doing, so I'm probably gonna go ahead, um, whatever knots I put in, I'm just gonna take back out later. Um, again, this is just like a quick little weird personal project, so that's why it's kind of like a strange setup. Um, but I Hopefully this will be a little bit easier to see. Um, so again, um, like we kind of talked about before, you want to make sure that you've got your needle in whatever your dominant hand is, and then the hair is going to go in the other one. Um, so me personally, I don't really hold my ventilating needle correctly. I'm, I have just, I was taught to hold it this way, and I just can't like break myself of the habit. Um, so definitely this is not the most comfortable or the best way to be doing this for your hands, but um, it's not something I do constantly, and I just got to the point where I don't know that I could like relearn it um another way so I apologize for that um and it's not totally correct and this angle is not great but I think this will be the easiest way um to kind of show you how to do it so the first thing you're gonna do so I wet my hair a little bit because I think it is a little bit easier um to work with the hair when it's wet um you're gonna find just one little hole in your lace and then once you get your needle through it's kind of like laying flat on there you're gonna go ahead and grab some hair and so once the hair is on the hook you have to pull it back through once it's through, then you kind of like, I like kind of push the hair almost to like the base of the needle and then you're going to really scoop it and then you have to go back through um, that little loop that you made and then right now we're kind of tightening it. The lower you keep it to the lace, the flatter it's going to lie and then I'm going to go ahead and just pull this down um, and that's how you make a knot. So that was a lot of hair so I would not want to knot that big right in my front but again I'm just going to do it low so I can go in and remove these later um but just to show again so again I'm through I'm gonna go in I've got my hair through and then again the further you pull it the more likely exactly like that's going to happen the more likely it is um that your loop is going to break or your hair is going to break so this is synthetic hair so again this is not like my favorite hair in the world um to ventilate with but this is what I'm currently using on this wig so I wanted to keep it the same and then so again so I am pulling my hair through I've got my loop on the base and then I kind of scoop it and when I scoop it I'm scooping it like away from myself and then back through that loop tighten down and then you just like release it down um, and then I usually go in and I kind of like hand tighten them a little bit um, I recommend when you are first learning how to do this, I wouldn't necessarily try um, to do anything like super specific. I'm pretty much just grabbing like a really random amount of hair um, in hopes that you'll be able to see it a little bit more clearly. Um, when I first learned how to do it, we actually learned on like netting um, with like latch hooks um, and like some string, I believe. So learning like this is technically like this is a fronting lace. It's very hard to see. Um, I have nothing currently behind this either so if I was sitting here doing this forever it's not the greatest for my eyes um, but like I said I don't do this very often um, so it's not necessarily the end of the world that I am not practicing um, the best posture the best things um, for my hands or eyes but again um, I was taught I don't know I was taught to like hold it like this but really it's gonna be a little bit better for your hand um, if you're a little bit looser with it I kind of have a bit of like a death grip on it uh, which definitely does get painful after a while if I'm working um, and again I go through, I grab my hair, go through the little hole, scoop it, back through the loop, tighten it down, and then you just release it. And so this hair, it's a little, because it is like synthetic, it does kind of like pull a little bit um, when I try to like pull it through, but um, human hair, I feel like is usually a little bit smoother, but um, you won't always be ventilating with that. And so again, so if I'm at this point, I'm going to scoop my hair back through here, pull down, like that so that one was quite a bit of hair very ugly knot but hopefully um that was a little bit more visible so when it's popping up like that that's not necessarily what you want and that's because I had it so um high up that is definitely not not your ideal um but hopefully at least for visual sake you are able to kind of see this so we'll do it a couple more times so these are just single knots um so pull through 
scoop it through the loop, tighten it, and then release it. Um, hair this thick, you would definitely probably have more towards the end of a wig. Like, if you can see um, where I'm working on this, this isn't even, like, the very front of it, and those are pretty tiny knots that I have. Um, so typically when it's, like, the front of the wig, you're probably only going to be using, like, one hair. Um, but for the back, you can usually grab a few more. Pull it through, scoop it back through this loop, and then I can already tell that one was not good, but I think it'll be okay for this. Um, if you were going to do a double knot, basically instead of like pulling through and like finishing that knot off, you just kind of like make another one. So if I go in, I grab just like one little square, pull through, loop it, and then instead of finishing it, I just kind of do it again that's going to give you like that thicker um double knot double knotting is not something i do very often um i'm not the greatest at it but it is something that you will sometimes do to um connect two pieces of lace together or sometimes you'll do it like on the nape of wigs um so that the knots are a little bit stronger so we'll go ahead we're going to do one more just like regular one so i've got my hair pull it through scoop it back through my loop tighten it down and then release it um and again, I think ventilating is one of those things that uh, if you think about it too much, you're going to drive yourself crazy and you're probably not going to be able to do it. Um, I feel like I kind of have to like turn my brain off when I do it. Um, but I think just doing stuff like this, just like making these like random like ugly knots when you're first learning, um, it's a good place to start. It's a good way to start just so you don't um, drive yourself crazy just because it can get really tricky. Um, but after a while, you really do get the hang of it and eventually you're going to be able to do a lot smaller knots and do fancier things. Um, I do think it's one of those things that's a little bit easier when you can see it in person, but hopefully this kind of helps gives you like a little bit of like an intro to it and a little bit more knowledge. Um, and hopefully it is something you'll be able to try really soon.